Right guys, now let's continue doing the simple form of differentiation here. We have some problems. Let's see how to work with this. To solve this guys, you just need to know those formulas, nothing much, all right? The very simplest form. Know the question and know the answer of the whatever particular question you have and that's nothing much. Let's see how to work with this. Y is equal to x power five plus three x squared plus root x. I know that anything with algebraic functions, we have to use only one formula that is y is equal to x power n differentiation of this guy is what we already know this that is n into x power n minus one that's it right so i can see that x power five looks like that so individually i can differentiate five into x power five minus one that's it this three would remain outside differentiate x squared is what two into x power two minus one and differentiation of root x is one by two root x that's it one by two root x and now if i simplify this i'll get x five into x power four plus 3 into 2 is 6x power 1 plus 1 by 2 root x. And that's all about it. Where is it? All right, let's go with the next one. It says y is equal to sine x plus tan inverse of x. Now, do I have an answer for sine x? Yes, that one. So, difference of sine x is cos x. So, dy by dx would be what? That is cos x. See, a single function. They're not together. Togetherness is when you have a multiplication sign or a division sign. This guy is singly. So I can belt this guy just like that. Right? Remember the belting rule. You have a single function, you can belt, or it means you can differentiate that. Similarly, what exactly here it is? Tan x. How do you differentiate this guy? Inverse functions. That is uh, 1 by 1 plus x squared. That's it. Anything else? Nope. Let's go with the third one. It says y is equal to the root of x plus 3. Differentiate this guy. dy by dx. Root x is what? 1 by 2 root x. If you know this formula, it's a very simple problem. And something new to learn. Differentiation of a constant or a number which does not have anything in terms of x with that is 0. Right? Keep that in mind. Now, fourth one. Cos x and e power x. Let's say y is equal to cos x plus e power x. All right, so differentiate this guy. dy by dx would be what? Differentiate of cos x is minus sine x, right? Look at that. And e power x is here. That is e power x itself plus e power x. What's your answer? All right, now let's go ahead. The next problem here is y is equal to sine hyperbolic x plus tan inverse of x. You guys can actually do it yourself if you know it. It's pretty easy. Just know the formula and write the answer. Nothing much. Sine hyperbolic x. There, the first guy on the right hand side. There's cos hx plus tan inverse of x is again 1 by 1 plus x squared. That's it. You have y is equal to a power x plus log x. How do you show a power x? There it is. Second one. The second uh, row. That is uh, a power x in a log a. All right, and difference of log x is what we have it 1 by x. That is it. The next guy here I have uh, y is equal to minus 3 by 4 x power 4 plus 10. See, yeah. this guy is a number, so keep it outside. Minus 3 by 4 is out, and differentiate x power 4 that is 4x cube. All right, that is my dy by dx. And I finish this part. This guy is a zero. That's all about it. So we understand they're very simple problems work plus more problems as many you can with these things this will just help you to learn the formulas right right now we are writing a list here but you need to remember them you need to remember them you know the rest of the differentiation keep that in mind and practice them practice them write them without saying at least 10 times so that you're confident about recalling them when it is required in the problem right